All right, if you haven't saved by now, you should. So let's save this. And we're gonna save this right now on the desktop and make a new folder called the soldier. And I wanna keep everything uh, separate from each other. That way when we're working with Maya, we can start doing a project folder and all that good stuff. So here's soldier master. And this one's going to be just the character altogether uh, without any alphas. And then we're going to have three alphas, per, or three separate TIFFs coming out of here. Okay, so this is how it goes. Uh, turn everything off, except for, let's say, this one's going to be our base layer. So we'll call this from now on Soldier 1. And so Soldier 1, if I hold Command and click over Soldier 1 right in this area, I can now go down here to this button and make an alpha channel. Okay? And everything white is there, everything black is transparent back in Maya. So now I can go File, Save As, and I can save this as a TIFF. Alpha Channels. None. Okay, we're done with that one. So what we do is delete the Alpha Channel, yes, and then move on to the next part. So again, I hold... Command, go to this layer, and take, make a layer for the alpha, and now we save this part out. Now, let's look at this just for a second, because I want to make sure one thing is happening. When I rotate the arm, does anything show up underneath here? It does cut off quite a bit. Is it noticeable? Not really. But if you wanted to, you would probably paint some stuff in or liquefy this part right here in order to make it so it's believable. And just to show you how to do that, um, filter, liquefy, and I could pull that instance down. Of course, you know, if you have sufficient enough painting skills, you can easily paint that in too. But I'm just showing you for people that don't know all about paint and all that good stuff. So, so what I want to do is just bend this down a little bit. Just like that. There. Okay, good. On with the alpha making. So that alpha now needs to be updated, and that's why I had to do that right then and there. So this one, delete this alpha, and go on and make a new alpha for it. And then we're gonna save this out. Ooh. Gonna have to rename that. Soldier Master 2. Okay, on with the next part. Command, Alpha. Okay, and just to be very clear about this, you must maintain a very good uh, naming convention, especially for the doing stupid stuff like this, because if you don't, uh, we're going to have some problems later on, probably. So, file, save as the soldier. Okay, I'm not seeing the soldier anywhere. So, where is this saving at? Oh, my gosh. See, it's already could becoming a nightmare. The soldier. Nope. Okay. The soldier. is located under the soldier under desktop and there's a desktop on my desktop see that's bad so there's a desktop on my desktop 
Who thought of that? Okay, so let's go to my desktop where I'm going to find a desktop and then I'm going to find a soldier. Yep, there he is. And then I want to just rename this one file with a one after it. So that way when I start bringing it into Maya, it makes sense. There we go. Okay, also, I want to eliminate this desktop thing, so I'm going to put it on the desktop. <laughs> there we go. So now I have something on my desktop called the soldier. Good. And it's got TIFFs in there and one PSD file. And that's what you should have. All right, so let's go on to the next video where I start bringing these assets into Maya.